What is this? Whoa! <laughs> See it? Oh my god. No. I have never had one. This is a Damascus steel katana. All right, here we go. Let's do it. What up, Rep Pack? It's your boy, King Reptar here, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Oh! Don't they know it? Oh, they know it. They know it! New location, flip. <laughs> it's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because your boy is here. Today is a very, very foggy and misty day. <laughs> From your breath. <laughs> no, it's just because of the climate, okay? Do you ever global changing? Yeah, I've heard of global changing. <laughs> <laughs> Mothers across the world are doing it at least once, twice a day. Global changing. <laughs> but today, guys, we're doing something I'm really, really excited for. Of course, we're moving over to the new location. We try to try to film the first video over there. To be honest, we're not 100% set up. So if you guys see, once we get over there, this is kind of like the ba basic, what do you call it? The uh, foundation, the... Uh, the essentials? The essentials, the beta! The beta! Beta. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. You could relate to this, right? Who, me? I can't relate to no beta. Oh, no, I was talking to anybody. Oh. Took a personal offense to that, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> I stand by the mother's table. Not very hard. Alpha male. No one can be an alpha male to their mother. Hard to get off my table. An alpha male. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Despite those parental interruptions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the setup is at its earliest stage. There might be some hitches along the way, but we're gonna try our best. And again, guys, as we get things set up there, the content's gonna be really, really starting to come out a little bit smoother once we get there. But anyway, we can't do anything over there unless we get some ADHDs, we're all essentials. Let's go. Do we get started? Yeah, I gotta wait for her to do her business. What? Oh, poop. Why don't we just do it while she's doing it? Gotta go potty, dude. Wait, real alpha male, waiting for, for a dog to go pee. Potty. <laughs> All right, well, now that that's settled, well, let's get started. So how how do we get started? Like, what are we taking, and then do we like have a truck or something we're gonna rent to? Yeah, my car. Prius, 2000. It doesn't matter. 17? Yeah, you don't have to finish. That is a Prius. <laughs> how much yeah, are you gonna but take? The newer than 2016. I want you thinking I'm broke. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then how are you gonna take anything in that car? What are, what are you taking? I know because it's so new and it's, it's so like it's modern. So it's Prius such a nice it's car. Not, not a truck. It's <laughs> the second closest to the touring edition. <laughs> it's almost a premium. It's almost loaded. Okay. Okay. Almost loaded. Okay. So yeah, I don't understand. It's kind of like hard to imagine putting such all these dirty things in my beautiful car, but it's not. They're definitely not hard to imagine that. But I'm just saying, what are we? No, what are we? Frank. Okay. So what are you saying? I'm just saying, what are we taking? Oh well, see, the thing is, is we don't need very much of this stuff. That's the thing. Is like a lot of this stuff is just being been bewildered by the environment, as you guys can see. That's definitely true. Uh, so I think honestly, all we're gonna need to take, all I need is that. Oh, the stone. The stone. All I need is the stone. <laughs> this table. We need to bring this, this, that, that. I'm gonna need that, but at this point, it's a, maybe this is a little stuff for my car. <laughs> Mostly the content inside of it. So that, another day. We don't need it today. And this, that is all you need for ADHD's work. Wow. We'll succeed with just those pieces alone today. And I think we need that, whatever that frog is. I don't know if we left him here or if I moved him, but. Doesn't really matter. I don't care. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Friend! Now that I think about it, I've known you since birth! You're like my twin f***ing brother! Darkness! I always knew I was part black. Explains this extra lower limb! Alright guys, we are at the new location. I have all the stuff that we brought outside right now for us to get started. But, today, we are opening this box right here. You can already tell from the lightning bolts on the tape. It is gonna be epic. It's a $400 mystery box of freaking epic high quality weaponry. Mostly blade related, so I'm extremely excited to get into it. But we are at the new location. Right now it is very, very, very minimal. I still got a Christmas tree up. I got freaking cardboard boxes. My only piece of furniture. Oh, I have two pieces of furniture. I have this one, which is this chair, and then I have that box. Which box? The one that you were sitting on earlier. The soft one, the comfortable one, the one you complimented. Well, this there's only, that, I did not compliment that. <laughs> not my camera, you did it. <laughs> you were saying, that's some pretty comfortable furniture you got here, Marcus. Maybe I was trying to make you feel better. <laughs> well, you, you did, and then you took it away, so thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but the point is, guys, we are at the new location. I'm gonna try and keep this location a little bit more under wraps than I did my previous address, because so many of you guys were showing up there. People have left mail there before. All types of different stuff, which I don't necessarily know if I'm prepared for yet. We're gonna kind of keep this location under wraps, but I'm gonna give you guys a full tour of this place 
soon. But today, we're gonna get started with the first video here. Like I said, guys, this is still new for us too. We got a lot of stuff we're working on. We're gonna be adding stuff as we go. And not just that, we're gonna be adding lighting and different things like that as well. Because right now, if we film like any direction other than this, it doesn't work because the windows. We have to get lights in here, a lot of other stuff. Anyway, let's get into the box, which I am extremely excited to get into. Let's do it. All right, so let's pop this one open because this entire box 100% filled. Oh, the Conqueror Bowie. This makes me want to conquer a nation. Stop it. Get some help. Right here we have the Conqueror Bowie, but mainly we have the Han Shu, which Han Shu is a uh, basically like, uh, you know, freaking Volkswagen owns Bugatti, the Ford owns, what a Ford owns? Ford owns Ford. Owns Ford. <laughs> they own something high end. The Jaguar. Jaguar. <laughs> <laughs> they own this. Only old people drive that. Chevrolet owns Corvette. Chevrolet owns Corvette. That's the best example. <laughs> this is United Cutlery's high-end line Honshu. It's supposed to be extremely sharp, not just that ergonomically perfect and designed under Japanese level specifications. But not only the blades quality of steel and also the sharpness. Let's go outside in a second here and try this out, but let's pop it open and see what this guy looks like. We don't even have a table, man. I never appreciated my mom's table until now. <laughs> she never appreciated you leaving it alone until now. She never appreciated me until now. She's like, man, it's nice not having him here. <laughs> oh my God, dude. I'm sorry, unboxing knife, but you have some. I hope you're a grower and not a shower. <laughs> Because damn. All right. Whoa, dude, this thing is so solid. You could, you could discipline kids in the '80s. <laughs> the thing about this though is, holy, dude, feel this. I am telling you, look how solid it looks, but feel how light this is. What? Yeah, man. It feels like a well, not like a prop. Like, it you feels know, like a Japanese blade. Yeah, it just feels like it feels solid. Like it feels said, like it nothing extra light. is there. Anything that's not necessary is gone. Let's go outside and see if this thing's really capable of some major choppage. And also, we're gonna give this guy a big heavy throw test for sure. And then we'll come back inside and see what else is inside this box. I already have a feeling. I don't know what this is, but it seems like something I might want to add to my katana collection. What do you think there's a katana in there? Either that or a really really high end broomstick. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go out there, if you guys want Buck to sponsor this channel, I want you guys to let them know in the comments down below, or go on Twitter, go on Instagram, spam the hell out of them and say sponsor ADHD's world, because it's about goddamn time. So we're going out there right now, and shout out to Buck, who has sent some free items and stuff in the, in the past, but I'm just saying, man, your boy would like an affiliate code. Mitchell had a twinkle to my smile. Can you smile like a little bit better, not creepy? Maybe that's how you get the link. Okay, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so here we go. We got the Han shoot. I'm not even gonna lie with you guys. Doing a lot of tricks with this thing is so much blade, it's a little scary. But let's go ahead and do the chop test right here and see if it has any kind of follow through. Woo! <laughs> All right, man. I think we can just glide right over this one and. Best believe you got him. Dude, I peeled it completely back without it dropping. <laughs> All right, dude. I really, really like the Bowie. I really, really do. Okay, so let's do a little injection test. Here we go. Oh. Let's get the most out of it. I'm sorry. I thought this was a uh, butter. <laughs> I, I didn't know you were physical. I thought you were just a delusion. Dude, this is literally probably the sharpest bow we've ever tested. Watch this. That was no pressure. No pressure. A lot of pressure. <laughs> okay, guys. So here we go. Let's do it. Throw test right down there. Right now, guys, like I said, we're just starting out with the lighting. So we don't have the best lighting ever yet. But in the future, we're going to have lights on the, all four corners of this to emit on the target. But for right now, guys, just bear with me. We got definitely more range than we've ever had before. Here we go. Let's do it. Nice. That was nasty though. That was like kind of hard to watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Woo. 
I think we're done with that one. Let's go back inside and see what else is inside the box. I really love Hanshu. And guys, also, this is my first time even throwing anything out here. We gotta get a little bit more practice in here, but I think I did pretty good for my first time. Not too bad. I missed one. One. You missed one. <laughs> what if that was to save me? You know, you never know what it could be. If it was to save you and I was doing it, I would. <laughs> oh, I would already God. say my prayers. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mama! Hanshu. Jeez, what's that? A guitar? <laughs> a Hanshu bass. <laughs> We're gonna save this box. If you guys want to see me open this box, smash the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. We're gonna open that one in the next video because I have a feeling that's gonna be a dope ass sword as well. But we have some smaller stuff in here. Ooh, okay, a little Hanshu Kalambit. Let's check this one out. Oh my god. <laughs> that steel, dude. Bruh. Oh. Oh my god. Dude, we've seen some Karambits on this channel before, but I feel like this is like without question the highest quality one we've seen. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Honestly, I like that looks like a Velociraptor's toe. <laughs> what are you what? <laughs> That was just effortless. This guy right here is not. Karambit's one of those things that can very, 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 <laughs> very easily be misconstrued for like a cheap product. We've seen those rainbow combat ones that are like $6, right? Oh, yeah. This thing is actually a tactical Karambit. This thing's gonna run you like $40 to $50 because this steel is gonna last you a long time. And man, when you hit somebody with this thing, man, you're taking more than some skin off. My grandpa always told me never bring a knife to a fight unless you can beat the guy's ass, because otherwise the knife might end up in you. So here we go, we have the Hanshu Krambit. This thing is super duper sharp. We got a freaking like four man combo here, let's do it. Ugh. All right, should I do it to him? Oh yeah. See that little squirt? Yeah, I did. Damn, dude. Down Our in the first dump. hole already. All right, guys, this thing is freaking awesome. Let's see what else it's capable of. No. This isn't gonna work. Jesus Christ, <laughs> intro it up. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go for a throw test of the Karambit because Parker doesn't think it's possible. Right here we have our Gort. I will be honest with him, it is a pretty tough, I'm hitting it pretty hard with this thing and no puncture's coming through. But it's a throw, it's a little bit more velocity is all I'm I saying. I mean, I get the velocity, but you gotta understand the kinetics. The kinetics? What, yeah. these things that they sold back in the 90s? Well, that too, we gotta understand those too. <laughs> those I never could understand. Nobody could. Let's just prove it to Parker that you can take somebody down from range with the Karambit. It did, that was a hard throw. We got a little bit of something, but maybe you might be right. I can't take that for an answer though. What, me being right? No. Oh, no. Through it. We are so close to proving you wrong. Look at that, dude, come on, let's prove him wrong. You're going home wrong today. Well, I, I usually do. <laughs> Now that is what I'm talking about right Ooh. here. Yes! <laughs> Damn. Oh, my. Oh, there, there we, we have go. Harry Potter scar. <laughs> That's how Voldemort did it. <laughs> and with that raven claw. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got one more. We're gonna go ahead and move on with this guy, but absolutely love it. Let's see if it's swift like a ninja star. Slice off of that guy. <laughs> Dude, look at the perfect butter cut, too. But I would. That's the cleanest part. That was on the floor. That part wasn't. <laughs> you don't know that. Okay, that was freaking sick, dog. That was freaking sick, bro. Jeez, not that, not that damn sick. <laughs> you know I'm going for this one now. I, why, well, yeah, I, I know. Congratulations. Please, God, Han shoe, Han glove, Han oven mitt. Please, please let there be a katana in here. Parker, pray! You're not gonna pray? I didn't you see me? Yeah. Bow your head, you bowed the camera. Alright, leave a comment down below saying I prayed and I will heart it, okay? Because we gotta hope. Hope there's a katana. I mean, if it's a machete, I'll still be hyped. But I think that shit is six feet tall. I don't know, maybe it's a sheath, I don't know. But I, my dream is to have a Han Shu katana for my collection. What is this? 
What is this? Oh, it is a katana. Whoa! <laughs> that thing is so. This is like snake eyes from Cobra Sword, dude. <laughs> like it looks unreal. Let's see it? Oh my god. No. This is the. Oh my god. No. I have never had one. This is a Damascus steel katana. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, that's solid, dude. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I am in love with it, dude. Okay, so we have a katana. I cannot wait to go outside. This thing is heavy. Like, I use a lot of katanas. This thing is super solid. This thing is made to be durable, but holy shit. Let me see how much this thing costs retail real quick. So, this thing right here, guys, is a $250 retail katana. The Bowie knife, I'm saying that thing was at least 60, 70 bucks, right? I think it's earned that. Yeah. Maybe at least. It's earned it. This right here, on top of that, that brings us to already three. 300 like 10 bucks. I'm starting to think that these mystery boxes are like the best way to get my collection big as hell for cheap as hell. Anyway, let's go outside and test out the Hanshu Damascus Steel Katana. We're cleaning it up right now. Look at this. This is like a Bugatti, man. It comes with a congratulations letter. The blade of this high quality product is constructed of steel with high carbon content that is required for additional maintenance beyond lesser quality stainless steels. Step one. All right, I think we're good. It hasn't even been 10 seconds. Let's go! All right, so here we have it. The Honshu freaking katana, man. Look at the beautiful engraving right here on the side. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Oh my God. I gotta say, man, I really like it. This thing is sick. <laughs> All right, guys, so after just one chop, I gotta say, this thing is really, really nice, but I mean, if we compare this to my katana, the gold one you guys see me with all the time, here's a clip. <laughs> oh, dude, we should never see pieces like that fly. That would have been like, like, I would have felt like nothing existed there with my katana. Oh, this, really? This, it kind of felt like I was dragging through a little bit. And I have to say, for as heavy as this thing is, if you're going to be moving, like, doing all this work for it, it should be a lot sharper than it is. So I would say on the Honshu katana, no seal of approval. But the other two items, seal of approval on screen. Just because the quality of these things have been amazing. This thing is not breaking down anytime soon. It's full tang. Every single piece of it is completely one metal. I mean, the build quality, if you're looking for a katana that's just gonna last you a long time that you can sharpen over and over this is your guy if you're looking for sharp sharp japanese style metal i wouldn't go with the hanshu but like i said if you're looking for something solid this is definitely your guy all right so here's our goal i can only move while i'm slashing i gotta get to the guy right here let's do it okay all right oh okay okay <laughs> Okay, got a little nut on my leg. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. oh, oh I saw I'm you thinking for about it this time. All right, you're gonna, you're gonna protect your friend. They need a hard throw. Oh. He, he, my friend, don't talk to me about. What? Oh. Oh. Bro. Your friend is vanquished. It wasn't my friend. That got my eye. His piss. His what? He pissed his pants. Absolutely amazing. If you guys want anything in this video, make sure you guys check out the link down below. But if you guys want to see me order another box from Honshu or United Cutlery, let me know. And of course, you still have that big box inside. So if you guys want to see me open that, let me know and make sure you're subscribed. But all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure I smash that like button, subscribe if you're new here, and check out this video on your screen right here, which is an awesome video where we bought survival bags. One that was $50, one that was $500. So I'll see you guys in that video. I'm going to go ahead and tell you the $500 one's amazing and a lot better. I'll see you guys over there. And it's always I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. Bloop.